Welcome back, everyone. It is now 625 this morning. It is officially flu season, and believe it or not, a simple case of the flu can turn into something much worse, especially for those who are over the age of 60. In fact, we spoke to Paul Toomey, who's a 66-year-old Navy veteran and retired federal officer. He says he waited three days to get treatment when he felt sick earlier this year. That case of the flu turned into pneumonia, dehydration, even a collapsed lung. Luckily, he made it to the hospital in time. I just figured I'd get the uh, stomach sickness, the headaches, uh, fever chill, and that would be about the end of it. I had no idea that could be that severe. And doctors say now is the time to get vaccinated since it does take two weeks to build up immunity and to make it for your system. And so that is why our Brandon Hamilton is joining us live now this morning from the Methodist Urgent Care Clinic in the colony where they have set up something pretty special this morning. Brandon, good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, just because you are a WFAA viewer, you have the opportunity to completely beat the rush and get your flu shot early this morning. They usually open at 9 o'clock, but check it out. The waiting room is completely open. They opened at 5 a.m. this morning, so from now all the way until the normal hours at 9 o'clock, you can come in and have a completely free wait and get your flu shot. Now, we're going to make our way back to one of the exam rooms where we actually have somebody about to get the flu shot, but last year, 20,000 kids were hospitalized due to the flu and 140 deaths for kids related to the flu. So this is serious stuff here. If you peek in that room there, we have Priya and Calvert about to get the flu shot. It's not that scary. She'll smile the entire time. She's going to get that flu shot, but in the meantime, we're going to talk to Dr. Joseph Kim, a medical director. So last year, according to the CDC, overall 19% effectiveness for the flu vaccine. So with that said, will it be better this year? Why should people still get the flu shot? Yeah, we believe that the, uh, the effectiveness of the vaccine vaccine last year overall was 19 percent but individual components was much higher some of them were 50 percent and sometimes it's guesswork but the CDC and the uh, the people who manufacture the vaccines make a very good educated guess every year about what kind of vaccines they need. Some people think I'm going to get the flu shot and then I'm going to get the flu. Is that true? No that's not true. The flu vaccines that we have are inactivated uh, vaccines so it's a dead vaccine a dead a virus that's causes sometimes a little bit of reactions, but it's a side effect, not true flu. One more quick question. You're completely healthy. You've never gotten the flu shot. You've never gotten the flu. Should you get the flu shot? Yes, they should get it still because it will still protect you from getting a severe infection. From awesome. Flu. Dr. Joseph Kim, thank you so much. All right, guys, here are the details. Methodist Urgent Care in the colony, 5151 Highway 121. They are open right now, early for you, all the way until 10 o'clock tonight. You have the opportunity to get the flu shot and beat the rush. If you do not have insurance, that will cost you 30 bucks. So only 30 bucks to get the flu shot. Hopefully, you will not get the flu this year. But that's the question: Do I get it? Do I not get it? Hopefully, he answered a few of those questions for you guys. He sure did. Good Thank you so much, Brandon. We appreciate.